Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, my name is Nur Aida Fitriana And you can call me Aida Today I will explain about speak more manometer And how to use it So check it out A speak more manometer Also known as a blood pressure monitor Or blood pressure gauge It's a device used to measure blood pressure it's specifically i will explain about a nerroid manometer. a nerroid manometer composes of an inflatable rubber cuff which is wrapped around the arm a measuring device indicates the cuff's pressure a bulb inflates the cuff and a valve releases pressure and a stethoscope is used to listen to arterial blood flow sounds. So, how to use Figma manometer? To begin blood pressure measurement, use a properly sized blood pressure cuff. The length of the cuff's bladder should be at least equal to 80% of the circumference of the upper arm. Wrap the cuff around the upper arm with the cuff's lower edge, one inch above the antecubital fossa. Lightly press the stethoscope's bell over the brachial artery just below the cuff's edge. Some healthcare workers have difficulty using the bell in the antecubital fossa, so we suggest using the bell or the diaphragm to measure the blood pressure. Rapidly inflate the cuff to 180 mmHg. Release air from the cuff at a moderate rate. Listen with the stethoscope and simultaneously observe the dial couch. The first knocking sound is the subject's systolic pressure. When the knocking sound disappears, that is the diastolic pressure. Record the pressure in both arm and note the difference. Also record the subject's position, which arm was used, and the cuff size. If the subject's pressure is elevated, measure blood pressure to additional times, waiting a few minutes between measurements. Okay, thanks for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you next time.